Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, Michigan Treasure Hunter, back to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing a clothing haul from thrift stores, and uh, this is all stuff I'm going to resell on eBay, so let's get right into it. The first piece of clothing I got is this vest right here. It has an embroidery on it, but why I bought it is because of the brand. As you can see right there, Vineyard Vines, very good high-end brand. It is a size small. But it should still sell pretty well, so I paid $6.99 for that. Next up, we got a pair of pants here, right here. This is a pair of military uh, tactical pants. So as you can see right here, it's uh, the 511 tactical series. Uh, these do really well. Uh, this is actually the first pair I found, but I looked on the completed and they're selling quite well, so. I paid four ninety nine for those. Uh, next up, we got this jacket right here. As you can see, I'll show you the brand. This is a Sorrel jacket. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. Right there, Sorrel. Sorrel is a brand they sell at, you know, REI type stores. It's like an outdoors brand. There's a better shot of the brand right there. But it's like lined and everything, so that's a good buy. Uh, that was eight ninety nine. Uh, next up, got another pair of pants. These are like a uh, like a corduroy pair of jeans. The brand is uh, I think it's pronounced Fasanable or Fasanable. I'm not sure, but uh, there it is. A pair of corduroy pants. I paid six ninety nine for these. Next up, we got this uh, military issue women's. Uh, jacket, coat, as you can see right there, it's got all the velcro pieces, it's just one of those ones with the generic tag, uh, this one's four ninety nine, and this should sell for around, they, they usually sell for around what the new price is, believe it or not, on eBay, but nobody lists used ones, so they, they still sell. Uh, next up is this Brooks Brothers polo shirt, straight polo shirt, I only buy these if they have the logo and if they're a dollar. So I bought this on the dollar day. Right there, Brooks Brothers. So that was only a dollar. I usually list these auctions at around twelve dollars. I got two Pearl Azumi bicycle jerseys. Here's one. It's blue. See right there, Pearl Azumi. And here's the other one. Right here, it's white. I paid four ninety nine a piece for these. I'm uh, trying to show you the tag here. There we go. I paid four ninety nine a piece for those. Uh, we got this another brand I only pick up if it's a dollar is a uh, Polo World for because I list these at auction. You all know that brand, so I don't gotta go into detail on that. But there it is. Paid a dollar for that. Next up is a Lacoste Polo shirt. You wanna look for that alligator logo right there. Their sizes are weird. They do sizes like 1 through 12 or something. But you can look up conversion charts online to figure out the, the US size. But I paid $4.99 for that. Another brand I only pick up if it's a dollar or if it's something really unique and outdoorsy is Orvis. Here's a Orvis polo shirt right there. I'm trying to show you the tag. There we go. But I paid a uh, dollar for that. I don't list that at auction. Here's another Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. I bought this one at a little bit higher of a price. I made three dollars for it because it is a size three XL, big. So anything with a big size and Polo Ralph Lauren usually does fairly well. Next up, I got two pairs of LA Police Gear pants. LA Police Gear. Another pair of tactical pants. Uh, these sell for usually twenty dollars a piece. But I'm going to sell these in a lot since they're the same size. Uh, here's the other pair. Right there. They're both size 36 by 32, so those are going a lot for around $40. Here's a pair of Levi hiking pants. They're not the silver tab kinds. You want to look for the silver tab. Those are really nice, but uh, anything by Levi that has any nylon in it is uh, very sought after, so... 
I paid four ninety nine for those, and I paid five ninety nine a piece on the uh, the LA Police gear shirts or pants, I should say. All right, here's a here's this uh, Western Pearl Snap shirt. This was a uh, two or three dollars at a Goodwill. Brand is Roebuck and Co. If it's cheap, I'll pick up a Pearl Snap shirt and put it in an auction because people tend to purchase those. You know, they like them. And they're not very easy to find in your, you know, local retail stores. Here's a really nice find. This is a quarter zip or half slip. Has like a suede trim on it, on the zipper. A really nice, it's a, a Vineyard Vines sweater. 100% merino wool. Uh, this was $7.99 at uh, Salvation Army. I think I should get a good price for that. Here is a Columbia Interchange jacket. Let's see right there, Columbia. I don't buy Columbia unless it's really cheap because the market is very saturated. Uh, this was, I think, $4. And I listed it at auction, so we'll see if it sells. Uh, next up is a Brooks Brothers. Right there. Uh, i trying to hold up. Brooks Brothers, hope you can see that. Uh, sweater. Paid a dollar for that. Uh, selling that at auction. Here's another Brooks Brothers, but this one is 100% wool. This one's even got the pocket in the front and everything, so. Little selling points like that help. There's the tag. Another dollar purchase that I should get around 15 to $20 for. Here's a really nice, uh, right there. Uh, let me unzip it here. There we go. Right there, Orvis, pullover, like, corner snap zip sweatshirt. I paid a dollar for that on uh, some HRV, and that should get some good money. And last but not least is a pair of uh, Harley Davidson right here. They're Harley Davidson PVC riding pants. Well, there they are. I paid uh, two ninety nine for these on uh, some HRV, and I don't know, I haven't looked those up yet, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a thumbs up right in. I hope it helps some of you out there. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.